from a junior hockey player being manipulated by his coach leading to a murder for hire plot or a team facing backlash for ignoring sexual misconduct complaints to a tragic tale of sexual abuse by a junior hockey coach in today's video we're going to cover all of this and more in the biggest scandals in nhl history number eight is mike danton the reason that the hockey community needs to closely investigate junior hockey head coaches and agents is because of one incident that may be the most strange and unsettling situations in hockey history. As a junior, Mike Denton was a rising star. Unfortunately, Denton was playing for David Frost, who finally drove Denton away from his family and exercised obsessive control over him. In order to formally distance himself from his family, Denton changed his last name from Jefferson. He had been persuaded to do this by Frost. But then, things started to get worse. Denton was arrested when it was discovered that he was trying to hire a hitman to kill David Frost following the 2003-04 playoffs. A recorded conversation between Frost and Denton was discovered one week following the arrest. Denton was receiving instructions from Frost on how to manage the legal proceedings. The call's most strange aspect is when Frost makes Denton tell him, I love you. Because of Frost's past, Denton's career has become entirely his own, which makes it odd and peculiar. 12 counts of sexual exploitation involving three girls and four boys between the ages of 14 and 16 were brought against him. Denton currently disputes any attempt on Frost's life. Instead, he claims that because he had experienced abuse as a child, he had actually been attempting to kill his father, Steve Jefferson. This is among the oddest and creepiest stories ever told, and it tells the story of an impressionable child who, due to his lack of thick skin and inability to handle his parents' criticism, turned to someone who appeared to be extremely kind but was only interested in pursuing his own interests, whether or not they were sexual. This is a regrettable tale that highlights the importance of parents being aware of the situations that their children are placed in. Number 7 is Alan Eagleson. He was once a prominent figure as the head of the NHL Players Association, NHLPA, and as a player agent, he fell from grace amidst revelations of misconduct and fraud. For years, Eagleson operated with impunity, shielded by the Canadian sports media until the efforts of a diligent Boston hockey writer exposed his misdeeds. Eagleson's transgressions were manifold as he exploited his positions for personal gain. He defrauded his clients and siphoned funds from tournaments. Among those who bore witness to Eagleson's betrayal was none other than hockey legend Bobby Orr. The scandal surrounding Eagleson's actions rocked the hockey world, underscoring the importance of accountability and transparency within sports management. His downfall serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of unchecked power and the imperative of vigilant oversight in a safeguarding the interests of athletes. Number six is a character that you will probably recognize. His name is Sean Avery, and we're talking about his sloppy seconds comment. This comment certainly solidified his reputation as a provocateur both on and off the ice. Known for his penchant for stirring the pot, Avery's remarks about Dion Phaneuf's relationship with Alicia Cuthbert while he was with the Dallas Stars caused a significant uproar in the hockey world. His blunt and controversial statement, delivered with characteristic braziness, drew swift condemnation from the league and led to a six-game suspension from NHL Commissioner Gary Bettman. The incident ultimately led to Avery's departure from the Dallas Stars as his own teammates distanced themselves from his remarks. However, Avery's ability to court controversy seemed to be part and parcel of his persona. Despite the fallout from the incident, he found a new home with the Rangers and managed to keep a relatively low profile in terms of controversy thereafter. While some may argue that the reaction to Avery's comment was disproportionate, especially given his history of provocative behavior, it's no surprise that this incident ranks among the top controversies in hockey history. Avery's ability to generate headlines for better or for worse ensured that this incident would be etched into the annals of the hockey lore. Number 5 is Billy Tibbetts. Tibbetts' story is indeed a sobering reminder of the complexities surrounding second chances and the lingering consequences of past actions. Despite his troubled past, which included a conviction for rape and subsequent arrests for various offenses, Tibbetts managed to secure a place in the NHL with the Pittsburgh Penguins in 2001, albeit briefly. However, his time in the league was barred by controversy, including a suspension for sucker punching an opponent. While Tibbetts' ability to resurrect his hockey career after serving time in prison is remarkable, 
His status as a convicted sex offender presented significant challenges, particularly in Canada, where he was prohibited from playing due to his criminal record. Despite this setback, Tibbetts found opportunities to continue his career in other leagues, including stints with the New York Rangers and various teams in the ACHL, UHL, and European leagues. Tibbetts case serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities surrounding rehabilitation and redemption in professional sports. While his story may not be wildly remembered due to his limited NHL career, it underscores the need for ongoing dialogue and scrutiny surrounding the issue of sexual assault and the responsibilities of professional sports organizations in addressing such cases. Number 4 is the 2018 Canada World Junior Hockey Team. The revelation of an alleged gang sexual assault involving members of the Hockey Canada national squad sent shockwaves through the hockey community, resulting in significant repercussions for the organization. Reports surfaced indicating that the incident had been initially overlooked or suppressed, prompting widespread outrage. According to police statements from London, eight members of the national team were implicated in an alleged sexual assault of a young woman in a hotel room in June 2018 following a fundraising event. The victim, who reportedly met the players in a bar after becoming separated from her friends, stated that she was intoxicated and did not consent to the group's sexual activity. In the aftermath of the allegations, several players from the team have publicly distanced themselves from the incident. The gravity of the accusations and the potential involvement of these individuals, representing Hockey Canada, have led to demands for accountability and a thorough investigation into the handling of the matter. This case underscores the imperative for robust protocols and accountability measures within sports organizations to address allegations of misconduct and ensure the safety and well-being of all individuals involved. Moreover, it highlights the broader societal issues surrounding consent, alcohol consumption, and the responsibility of individuals and institutions to uphold standards or behavior and respect. If you're enjoying today's video so far, please leave a like and subscribe before we get to the top three. For number three, we're looking at the Chicago Blackhawks sex scandal. The Chicago Blackhawks have found themselves embroiled in a scandal in 2021 following revelations that they had ignored complaints regarding alleged sexual misconduct by video coach Brad Aldridge. The controversy erupted when former player Kyle Beach filed a lawsuit against the team, alleging that Aldridge had sexually assaulted him during the team's 2010 Stanley Cup run. Additionally, a second player came forward with similar allegations, accusing the Blackhawks of prioritizing their pursuit of the Stanley Cup championship over the well-being of their players. According to the lawsuit, Aldrich used his position of authority to groom, harass, threaten, and assault the young players, including coercing them to watch pornography with him. The allegations painted a disturbing picture of a toxic environment within the organization where the safety and welfare of the players were compromised in favor of on-ice success. In the wake of these lawsuits, Beach reached a settlement with the Blackhawks while the NHL imposed a $2 million fine on the team for its mishandling of the situation. The scandal prompted widespread scrutiny of the team's internal policies and procedures for addressing allegations of the misconduct, as well as broader discussions within the hockey community about the need for accountability and transparency when addressing issues of sexual harassment and abuse. The Blackhawks' handling of the allegations and subsequent fallout serve as a stark reminder of the importance of prioritizing the safety and well-being of athletes over organizational interests, and the imperative for sports organizations to take decisive action in response to the allegations of misconduct. Number two is Rick Tockett's gambling ring. The scandal involving former Stanley Cup champion Rick Tockett and the illegal gambling ring he ran in New Jersey while serving as an assistant coach for the Phoenix Coyotes garnered significant attention largely due to the speculation surrounding the potential involvement of Coyotes head coach and NHL legend Wayne Gretzky. Despite Gretzky vehemently denying any involvement, scrutiny intensified when it was discovered that his wife Janet had placed bets through the gambling ring. Investigations ensued to determine if Gretzky himself had placed bets through his wife, but no conclusive evidence was found. Ultimately, Target received a two-year probation sentence and the illegal gambling ring was shut down. He later returned to coaching, serving as head coach of the Tampa Bay Lightning during the 2008-9 season. While this scandal captured widespread media attention and remains as one of the more recognizable controversies in NHL history, its significance is arguably inflated due to Gretzky's involvement. 
Unlike some of the other top ranking scandals, it does not directly intersect with broader social issues, leading some to consider it overrated in comparison. Nonetheless, its notoriety persists due to the involvement of one of hockey's most iconic figures. And the number one story on our list for the biggest scandals in history is Sheldon Kennedy's story. The story of junior hockey coach Graham James' sexual abuse of his players, particularly Sheldon Kennedy and Theon Fleury, is a deeply tragic and harrowing tale that highlights the devastating impact of such abuse on the lives of these young athletes. James used his position of authority to manipulate and control Kennedy, subjecting him to repeated sexual assaults while instilling fear that prevented Kennedy from speaking out. James' heinous actions resulted in the trauma and suffering of his victims, ultimately cutting short Kennedy's promising hockey career and leading Flurry down a troubled path marked by substance abuse and emotional turmoil. The courage displayed by Kennedy in coming forward to confront his abuser deserves recognition and praise as it shed light on the widespread abuse perpetrated by James and helped to bring him to justice. Despite facing incarceration for his crime, James' reign of terror extended beyond known victim. With numerous other accusations of sexual assault and molestation surfacing throughout his time in Canada, the tragic impact of James' actions serves as a stark reminder of the urgent need to protect vulnerable athletes from predators within the sporting community, and to support survivors in their journey towards healing and justice. While Kennedy's story may not be as widely known as others, it stands as a poignant reminder of the resilience and bravery of survivors in speaking out against their abusers, and the importance of holding perpetrators accountable for their actions. Kennedy's courage in confronting Graham James' abuse serves as a beacon of hope and empowerment for survivors everywhere, and his advocacy efforts have helped him to shine a light on the issue of sexual abuse in sports. For more NHL content, click the video on the screen to watch the 15 best goldies in NHL history. But before you go, comment if you think that the hockey community can truly safeguard its players from abuse and misconduct, or if the recent scandals are just the tip of the iceberg. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't be a bender. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help the algorithm, help us grow, and see you next time.